If you're a camel and you don't have a home, where do you go? Animals don't speak the same language that we do, but they're still communicating and they have needs and they have hearts. I just feel so embraced and loved by these animals. His name is Atari, a two-year-old zebra, and just like a typical two-year-old, they get into everything. Hearts and Hands' mission is to give of our skills in the animal communications and care fields, to give love and labor, and share an environment for the healing of animals that are in dire need. In addition, we share these animals with children and adults whose lives may be parallel in events or circumstances. When you reach out with your hand, you're reaching out with a front leg. Big oh. hind leg, front leg. Over the years, Nancy Nunke learned to speak many languages, becoming the animal to understand and train the animal, as she puts it. Nancy is now considered the zebra whisperer, giving much needed advice to zookeepers throughout the world to help them better understand and keep their zebras. Animals actually communicate just like people do and you have to open your heart and your mind and find their way of doing it. That's when you realize there's just so much to animals that people don't even realize. Friendship training is what the zebras taught me many, many decades ago. Zebras cannot be trained by typical horse training. Zebras only listen to, spend time with, and be kind to its best friend. It is absolutely about individual relationships with the animals. Nancy calls the zebras the ultimate equine and uses all that she has learned to train the other animals too. This is Starla. Starla was born unable to use her hind leg, so she couldn't nurse and her recovery has been just incredible. Nancy has many animals that could very easily be extinct and they're continuing through her care here at Hearts and Hands. There's the endurance and the determination to survive. Because that's really what each and every person and animal here represents. Ready? Incoming. I am not a therapist. But I facilitate wellness through the animals. The animals are a release therapy for me, whether it's helping out with supplies or even helping just tidy up around. These animals are therapy animals. So many of them have been rescued, they've gone through neglect and cruelty, and yet, through the rehabilitation here at Hearts and Hands, they now have this extraordinary ability to give. His neck was broken, his shoulders were dislocated by six inches, and his face was gone. Chancey is the most incredible therapy horse in the world. He is an expert with burn survivors because he totally understands what it takes to recover. Getting to serve so many animals that have gone through such distress, but now they are in such a way of serving is such a treat. Coming here, I benefit the community. I benefit myself, and days I'm not here, I say, what can I do to benefit someone else? The animals, they are helping children with autism, different people with um, emotional imbalances. If the animals do the work, the least we can do is take care of them. It's a win-win-win. This actually looks like spa day to me. <laughs> How has your life been since you've come to the ring? We are here with our... <laughs> We're here volunteering just to help organize this beautiful property and help take care of these wonderful animals. Today I shoveled poop all day and I, I actually found it very calming. It's wonderful to be thinking about what I can do for somebody else instead of being in my own head about me. I haven't done this much manual labor since I was probably a little kid. I had no idea what we were gonna do like chores, but it's actually kind of fun. The work actually isn't that hard, but it feels good. It is wonderful to be out in the fresh air. We felt so grounded, so connected to the animals, to nature. It's a real treat. It's just something about it, it's just magical. <laughs> All you want? <laughs> Donations are so important to us right now in order to finish the education and therapy center. That is what is going to help us be self sufficient because we will have other groups come in corporate groups, children's groups. 
and other charity groups who will actually help us with a pass-through of funding so that so much of our funds can be centered right here and fund ourselves. The other important thing, of course, is the residents so that we can really help many, many more people. So we want to ask that you give from the bottom of your heart and your hands so that Hearts and Hands Animal Rescue can do what we've been doing here for many years and really need to continue doing to help everyone, the animals and the people. Hearts and 